which is more like metaphysics. And uh, the, why I'm sharing this is for the youngsters. For the youngsters, which is the topic here today. The relativity theory and the Buddhist concept of dependent origin, particularly of the Pratshuji, how he brought the very, soft, very sophisticated uh, the many aspects of the Buddhist philosophy in such a short period of time and relative, of course, the Alpha and relative were very complicated. So there, the, oftentimes, we might feel, you know, say because the background that I sense, most of the youngsters, we are from philosophy and psychology, and we may feel this is okay. I try to listen to this to, to do justice to this conference, but I haven't get anything. So why not I share a talk, a chat? Okay. So why I'm saying this is that you are very young, very young, and my personal experience was that when I was a little bit older than your your age, sitting for the final PhD degree, so there, the I just jumped into the one year senior the one year senior class to attend their class, and I did not understand anything of what I was being taught there, and I would have been that okay. I'm not really bad in terms of my intelligence. Not really bad. But today I'm not understand anything, which means I, I may not have any kind of connection with this text. This was what came to my mind and I was quite demoralized. Then what happened was that the, the teacher was giving a detailed explanation and the students, senior students, was one year sitting to me. They were throwing questions to the teacher, the teacher would give an answer and throwing back questions to the students. And I was just lost, and I was I felt so demoralized. And then after seven months, there was another teacher giving the teaching on the same text a one year. So the second teacher, how the teacher was given was just going through so fast. No detailed explanation, no debate, just going through so fast, and I was so amazed, you wouldn't believe that literally I could understand everything what he was teaching. So, I would say that the second time it was not because that the teacher was more brilliant, because the teacher was giving, going so fast. Only thing was that the first time I listened to the great care, attention, although I did not understand anything, imprints were made, laid in the mind, in the mind. The second time it became so easy. Likewise, for example, say for example, if you look at Professor Sisi Roichi, this is he's such a great inspiration for all of us. He's expert in quantum physics, relativity theory, neuroscience, and whatever discussion is being done, he's absolutely there. Meaning that we all have that capacity. If we pay attention to the for example, it's a great opportunity for us to be taking part, listen to the, the relativity theory and quantum physics perform. Even though we think that we have not understood anything, you have got something, right? With this confidence, the second time you take part in such a conference, you were amazed that you're getting something. So I'm very inspired by one of the pro vice chancellor of Delhi University, one of the former pro vice chancellor of Delhi University. He attends any program. He his background is from management. Be it science, astro science, physics, biology, neuroscience, he attends and philosophy. He attends everything and slowly I could see that just within my friendship with him for about like three, three four years, I could see that his thinking, his knowledge is growing exponentially. So this is all the because of not giving up and then gaining conviction that every time you listen to a complicated talk, if I, if you pay attention to this, somehow the imprints are made, next time it becomes very easy for you. So therefore the youngsters, right? I'll say that, that don't think that, oh, this is a try, but I don't understand that. So there's a point. If you give, give up like this, the moment you do pay attention, nothing will be registered. If you pay attention, all this will be complicated. Registered, you are not aware. When will you be aware? You are aware of it. When you listen to the same talk, the next time you'll be fascinated, thrilled that, oh, no, I'm not saying something. Okay, this is, with this, now it's uh, 120 sharp.